Okay, welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today I was sent this particular problem, which comes from a gate exam, believe it or not. So we have a language L right here, which is the set of all Turing machine descriptions that such that they accept some string of length 2020. So I have adapted the question from what it actually was that was sent to me. But so the numbers were different here, but it's it will work in that scenario also. So the question asked is L decidable and recognizable, undecidable and recognizable, undecidable but not recognizable, or decidable and not recognizable. So pause the video and try to figure it out for yourself. So the answer is B. So we can actually whittle down some of the answers to make this a little easier for ourselves. So the answer can't be D because every decidable language is recognizable. So D is not even possible for any language. So let's see, how can we get rid of some of the other ones? So why is it not A? So it's not A because L is undecidable because it's related to the problem for uh, ATM, which we know is undecidable. So we know that ATM is undecidable. I'll just abbreviate, abbreviate it as un, unde, undecidable, undeck. So uh, how can we actually show that this is undecidable? So let's suppose that D decides L, the language that we uh, showed, that we want to show to be undecidable. So what we want to do then is to design a decider for ATM. So on input MW, where M is a Turing machine and W a string, well, the common way of dealing with this is, well, I can't just feed this machine M into the decider D for the language L because if it tells us, well, it accepts some string of length 2020, well, that doesn't tell me anything about whether M accepts W. And if D says no, that it doesn't accept any string of length 2020, well, <laughs> that still doesn't tell me anything about whether it accepts W. So how can we actually use this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to construct a Turing machine, I'm going to call it M prime, so that has one of two behaviors. And there are many other choices for how these behaviors can go, but here's what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is this, on input x, so this machine m prime can get any input, regardless of what m and w are. So the first step of this machine is to run m on w. And the step b, if M accepts W, we will accept X. So we'll say yes on X. And if it runs forever, we don't care. If it rejects, we don't accept X. So what are the two behaviors? So if M accepts W, then that means that M prime accepts every string. So accepts every string which means that the language of M prime is sigma star. Well, that means that it accepts some string of length 2020 because sigma star is every string. But suppose that M does not accept W. Well, in that case, well, what can we determine about M prime? Well, we never will accept X. So M prime does not accept anything. So that means that M prime's language, in this case, is the empty set. So it doesn't accept anything. So if we run that supposed decider D on M prime, well, it is either going to say it accepts some string of length 2020 or not. But the only two cases that are possible are sigma star and empty set, which are corresponding with M accepting W. So if D accepts, then that means that M prime does accept some string of length 2020, which means in our case, 
it is equal to sigma star. It accepts every string, which means m accepts w. So that means we need to accept in this case because we're trying to solve the ATM problem. And then otherwise, we're in the other case, which means we reject. Well, since ATM is undecidable, there's no possibility for this decider D to exist. So it can't be answer A, so therefore, because we found out it's undecidable. But that doesn't tell us anything about whether it's recognizable. So why is it recognizable? So the thing about recognizers is that they have to halt on the strings in their language. That's what they are supposed to do. So when we have a Turing machine that really is in this language L, that really is in there, that means it does accept some string of length 2020. So how can we show that this is recognizable? Well, what we can do is a brute force quote unquote simulation. So we're going to solve this by brute force. And how are we gonna do that? So on input uh, M, so remember we're trying to recognize L. So we're given a machine M. So then we're going to go over all strings. So, so for all W in sigma star with the length of W equal to 2020. So all possible strings. Then we're going to run them in parallel. I shouldn't put A here. Uh, run them all on the machine M that we're given in parallel. And by parallel, we mean step-by-step uh, -step simulation. And by that, I mean we run each of the strings for one more step each time. So it's not like we're going to run one string and then run the next string because the machine could run forever. But by doing them in parallel, we're simulating them all, all at the same time, so to speak. We're doing them one step at a time. So if any string is accepted, then that means that M accepts some string of length 2020, which means we should accept at that point. And we will guarantee to halt on the strings in L because if we're given a machine M, which is a string in L, let's suppose, then it must accept some string of length 2020, which means it must halt in step one at some point. It might take a long time, but it will halt at some point. And step two clearly runs in a finite amount of time. So therefore, we can conclude that this language is in fact recognizable. So C is wrong, B is right. So one thing that you should always know is whenever you are faced with a problem like this where you have accept some string of length whatever, then it must be undecidable because it's related to the ATM problem like the way we did here. And if it accepts some string with some property, then very likely it is recognizable because we can do a brute force simulation. Hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below if, if for anything that you have learned throughout this video. Uh, please leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.